Hey guys, so I recently changed up my everyday makeup routine because my trio walking on eggshells is gone. I ran out of a wig color and I haven't got around to buying a new one yet. Um, but yeah. I love this ring. My uncle got it for me. I love it. it I think it's cool. He said it was like Indian stone or something. So this will be my updated everyday makeup routine. Okay, so I have my mirror, my mirror, <coughs> and then everything is drugstore, except for this brush. <laughs> All the makeup is drugstore. Okay, so let's get started. <coughs> So first, I will be using my Clean and Clear Dual Action Oil-Free Moisturizer that I got at a, um, like a thrift store for a dollar, and I really like it. It's cool. See, look, bare face. See my pimples, too. Oh, no, I think my mom's calling me. Are you calling me? Oh. Nope, she's talking on the phone. He needs to. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, those eyes like really itchy. Oh, yeah. Hold on. That's what I forgot to use. Okay, so I always use this Visine before I, um,. Put on my makeup. That's I knew I was forgetting something. And then it it just like travels through. Like you want to do it either over here in the corner or right here in the corner. And um then it'll just like travel throughout your eyes since it's water. It's basically water. Now my mom's calling me. What? What? Okay. Keep interrupting me. This video will take 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, <gasps> parents. Okay. Now I will take my clean and clear moisturizer put some on my finger. I need kind of a lot because my face is big. <laughs> oh, and by the way, when we go to the mall tomorrow, I will be blogging for you guys. So yeah, that'll be cool. Kidding. And then I'll blend it out with my fingers, and I'm going to take off my ring. And when you wake up in the morning and you put this on your skin, it'll just really wake it up from all that, like, that, like, dry skin and stuff that you can get on your face and stuff, or... Like, it just, like, your skin feels, whoa, sorry. <laughs> like, your skin can get, like, really dry. As you know, you're not stupid. Um, and, like, it just feels like you just got out of the shower, like you just washed your face. So, yeah. And now I'm going to use my CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation in 340 Maple. And then this brush, I don't know where it's from, but um, it's a sort of stippling brush, so I'm going to use it to blend my foundation out. And um, instead of wasting more time getting ready in the morning, 
in case you have to go somewhere like special, just skip concealer and put it your foundation under your eyes and also on any problem areas that you may need it. Okay, because like I don't do concealer. Concealer is just too much money. So I don't use it. Oh, but I'm not going to use the brush for under my eyes, though. I mean, I've used concealer a couple times, but it was like cheap, crappy concealer, and it just sucked. And then I'm going to blend it out with my fingers one more time. Just to make sure that you get it all rubbed in. Sorry for the interruptions with my mother. But yeah. And then next I will be taking, um, I would use a blush, but my blush has broken. So yeah. But next, I will be taking my Revlon Cream Shadows. Just let me get them open. And they look like that. They're not just nudes. And I will be taking that color with this little brush that came in like a set that my mom got for my birthday. Got me for my birthday. It was just like a little stupid set. She knew that, but like... Like, but I needed brushes when I was first starting out with makeup, you know? Got to have brushes. Nothing. Okay. There's like sorry, hold on, there's something in my eye. Okay, that's better. Blend it out. Okay, <clears throat> and then I will be taking my Midnight Fever palette by Profusion. And I take that color right there. Oops, that one with my e.l.f. lid brush and it's kind of like a red brick and champagne color um, hold on, I need more visine, I'm sorry oops, totally missed, it went down my neck too Okay, where'd the lid go? Oh well. I need to hurry up with this tutorial. Anyway, so here it is. Okay. Um, where was I? Oh yeah. Applying my gosh. But yeah. And I think it just looks really nice on me. I think it would look nice on anyone, but... People might not like it, but I do. Okay, now for in the crease, I will be taking, okay, that color right there. I just forgot what color I was going to use. And I will be taking my e.l.f. blending brush, patting it in there a couple times. I'm putting it into the crease, and then blending it out. I really like, like, I really like, I really like elf br Elf's brushes. They're really soft. And they're very 
they're rare. They're very cheap. <laughs> they're only a dollar. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a little bit of that black, dab it in there, like, barely, and then pack it into the outer parts of the crease. Too much. And I'll really blend the black out. Like that. And if you need to take a little bit off like I do, like I do, take some off. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I'm going to highlight my brow bone with the white. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm going to apply liquid liner, LA Colors liquid liner, and I need to get a new one because it's getting like really clumpy and gross. Do that away because it sucks. And then I'm going to apply CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. And then I will be applying my baby lips, Maybelline baby lips, in Pink Punch, and it has SPF 15 in it. <laughs> Kidding. And then I'm going to sheer it out because <laughs> I will be putting on um, CoverGirl Duo. Uh, lip thingies in 845 snap and this brown color actually looks really nice it's kind of like a bronzy brown glow but it looks really nice on you just can't go overboard with it too much because I don't look weird and we don't want that to happen. Where's my thumb? Oh, there it is. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this stuff. And, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Toodles. No, I'm kidding. <laughs>